Good afternoon from MWC 2024. I'm here together with Srida Kubana, Senior Vice President of Engineering from ST Engineering iDirect. Hello, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Srida, the demand in the, in the industry, in the market is rising a lot. So uh, with stronger networks, AI, we need more connectivity. So how do you cater this demand and what are the key requirements from your clients as of today? Okay. So at this point of time, as you can imagine, historically, uh, the SATCOM industry has been focused on the geo satellite space, but with um, new entrants like Starlink and uh, Hyper and others, the LEO market is also expanding. And the traditional SATCOM customers are now looking for a multi-orbit solution to be competitive in this landscape. So we are really looking at solutions that can span geo, heo, mio, and LEO and ensure that we are able to provide mobility across the entire uh, multi-orbit space, right? And in addition to that, the customers are also looking for us to bring the space and ground infrastructure together. So we are also looking to provide seamless mobility between the space infrastructure and the 5G infrastructure. And being at MWC, we can see a lot of uh, technology evolution happening in the 5G NTN space as well. So I see a lot of uh, synergies emerging from the space and the ground infrastructure as we move forward. And also uh, the acceleration for move to virtualization and leveraging AI for orchestration and providing these capabilities is going to be pretty significant as we move forward. Those are the things that our clients are looking for as we evolve. I mean, you just mentioned it, MWC is all about AI. I mean, everywhere you hear it. So what is your take on AI for, let's say, if we start from a first internal perspective and also what could be the benefits probably for your clients? There are quite a few. AI is, um, it's not a new technology. It's been around for a long time. And uh, this industry on the SATCOM side has not leveraged AI a lot, but we have seen AI being leveraged in many other industries effectively. And now you can see why the NVIDIA stock is so high as well, right? Because clearly uh, the AI market is taking off. Um, from a technology point of view, if you look at the SATCOM industry, there are, again, the multi-orbit solutions are going to provide us some, ability, uh, some use cases where AI can be used for orchestration purposes, better bandwidth management, better control, better QoS, and there are some algorithms that we can develop leveraging AI capabilities to provide a better radio resource control orchestration framework and so forth. So there are a lot of opportunities here for, to leverage AI. First and foremost, we need to figure out how we get the right data sets into, uh, into, into our infrastructure in order to make sure that we have the data available to build the AI models that we need to build. I understand, I understand. So how does your role as senior VP for of engineering at uh, ST Engineering, iDirect, how does it play a crucial role for you to meet this customer demands in order also to shape your offerings and to redefine them? Yeah, so I think the most important role that I have is to ensure that we drive technology innovation to meet the demands of the market for our customers. So we have a lot of requests from our customers to provide new services to expand their market and the addressable TAM. So my job is here is to drive technology innovation to provide the capabilities that they need to increase their market and uh, expand their customer base as well, right? So that's my number one priority. Obviously, with that comes a whole bunch of other things that we need to be prioritizing, delivering quality software on time, ensuring that we are building the architecture secure with security in mind. That's extremely critical in this day and age, especially in the SATCOM industry. Okay, thank you, very interesting. So given the rapid pace of technology advancements, so what are the emerging trends or innovations you foresee of shaping the future? So clearly, um, move towards virtualization is going to be critical for us because SATCOM industry typically has had proprietary infrastructure, um, custom hardware solutions being developed, and uh, the terminal and hub side have always been provided by a single vendor. As we evolve into virtualization, most of our customers will be looking to have multi-vendor solutions, which implies that we need to have, we need to move towards standardization, and the virtualization infrastructure that we are trying to build as part of this platform is going to enable our customers to deploy uh, the solution on a COTS platform or cloud infrastructure and gain better operational efficiencies out of that one as well. And they will be, they will have the ability to choose between 
various technologies out there and still deploy under a common framework, right? Leveraging the COTS platforms and the cloud technology out there, right? So that's, that's going to be one of the uh, things that we'll be able to achieve. And clearly, the 5G NTN technology is going to play a huge role as we move forward here to provide seamless connectivity for all of us, right? It's going to make all of our lives better because you can now take the 5G technology on the ground infrastructure, and we have the SATCOM infrastructure that we are building, and if you can bring those two things together, imagine you be able to take your phone on the ground as if you're using it, and then you go into the plane or you go on a cruise, and you're able to use the same phone to do all these things and without losing connectivity, right? Yeah. Or in a rural area, similar or go to a rural yeah. area. Or when you have a disaster situation, if you're able to seamlessly switch between the land infrastructure to the uh, satellite infrastructure to get the connectivity and stay in communication, yeah. it's going to be extremely powerful. Right? Yeah, yeah. Those capabilities to the market. That's the next level. Exactly, <laughs> right? I mean, our goal at the end of the day is to provide seamless connectivity Right to everybody, right? Yeah. and enable everybody to. And that's a human right. Exactly. I mean. Exactly. Perfect. Thank you very much. Thanks no for your time. Truly appreciate it. Thank you. There was Tech Africa News from MWC 2024. You can find more on techafricanews.com.